Hello, I'm Martin Croft. And I'm Robin Moore. Welcome to Amp Productions Around the World in Three Minutes. This week we're visiting Quebec City in Canada, the capital of the region, and a historical colonial settlement. Taking a ferry ride across the St. Lawrence River is a charming way to see the beautiful skyline, which is even more lovely in autumn. The castle on the hill, which is the most remarkable feature of Quebec's skyline, Chateau Frontenac, was built as a Grand Railway Hotel in 1893. You can stay there or take a look inside, although the hotel's primary function even today is for guests to stay in. Directly in front of the hotel is a boardwalk which leads to the historic Quebec Citadel and the Plains of Abraham where the French were defeated in the French and Indian War. Notre Dame des Victories in the square of the lower town was constructed from 1687 to 1723 and lends a beautiful charm to the old city. Sit and have lunch on the deck of a nearby restaurant or browse the shops along the winding narrow streets. If you want to see a larger and more ornate church, head to the Cathedral Basilica in the upper town, which was completed in 1842. Take a walk around the ramparts, which were built in the 17th century. Quebec City is one of the only walled cities in North America, and the walls certainly are a good way to see the outskirts of the old town. If you enjoy ghost tours, Quebec City has several options, which will guide you through the haunted streets of the city at night. Hear legends of a bloody past underneath the stars. Or, if you're looking for something else to do in the evening, catch a show or restaurant in the new city, or go to one of the area's many spas. No matter where you are in the old town, you'll find treasures such as shops, restaurants, and much more hidden in every corner. Quebec City is certainly worth the visit. And that's been Around the World in Three Minutes. Thanks for watching, and be sure to tune in next week as we visit another city.